Assalamu alaikum. Now we are going to discuss chapter 2 which will talk about selecting a form of business ownership. What are the main forms of business? There are three main forms of business, sole proprietorship, partnership or corporation. Sole proprietorship means that a company or an entity which is owned by only single person. Only one person owns this company. This is what we call sole proprietorship. Partnership means the company which is owned by two or more partners. Two or more partners. A corporation is a type of business which is formed from many shareholders. The, uh, in order to obtain the capital of a corporation, you make a subscription uh, for shares in the stock market and each uh, shareholder is going to buy the share according to the number of shares. This means that the, this shareholder own this part in uh, the company. The sole proprietorship is one of the three main من of business. The sole proprietorship is the business that is one person. There is one person who is one business. The partnership is that there are two or more partners. We have two or more partners. We call it partnership. The partnership there are more than one type of partnership, but we are not going to enter in these details. الكوربريشن يعني الشركة المساهمة يعني الشركة اللي رأس مالها متكون انها بتطرح اسهم في السوق وكل حامل سهم بيشتري وحسب عدد الاسهم او حس دي بتعتبر حسته من الملكية في الشركة each type of these main forms of business have its own advantages and this Advantage. According to this advantage and this advantage, you are going to choose which type which will uh, fit you and or which type you need to form your type of business. What are the advantages and disadvantages of a sole proprietorship as a type of business? If I asked you, what do you think the advantages you can gain from forming a sole proprietorship type of business? The first one is that it's easy and inexpensive to form. Uh, it's subjected to a few regulations from the government compared by other types of business. You will have a complete control uh, and you are going to take all the decision and have all the authority regarding any decision taken in this uh, company. You are going to get all the profits earned by the business. No uh, one else is going to share you in these profits. Uh, you don't have to pay any special income taxes. يعني إيه المميزات أو العيوب اللي أنت متوقع إنك تاخدها من هذا الشكل من البزنس؟ أول حاجة هو تكوينه uh, يعتبر بسيط وسهل ومش مكلف زي الأشكال الأخرى. Uh, بيبقى عندك uh, سيطرة كاملة وأنت اللي بتاخد كل القرارات في البزنس ده وطبعا بتاخد كل البروفيتس ومحدش بيشاركك فيه. غير ان هو القواعد او الضرائب اللي مفروض عليه من قبل الحكومة بتبقى اقل والرولز اللي بتحكمه تعتبر اقل واخف من الرولز اللي بتحكم الاشكال الاخرى طب let's talk about the disadvantages what are the disadvantages the first one that you have you must have all the talents and skills needed in order to run your business successfully and you must be responsible to um, to get employees who have uh, the adequate skills and qualifications to reach to your goal. And the other disadvantage that this type of business, most cases will be terminated by uh, the termination of the life of the owner of this business. Sometimes it continues by his inheritance, but in most cases, this type of business is terminated by the death of the owner. Uh, you have to rely on your own resources for financing. You must make sure that you have the, in it, the sufficient funds or the needed funds available in order to run this type of business. If the company incurs any debts or suffers a catastrophe, you are personally liable. You have unlimited liability. You are completely liable regarding any problem that's going to face this uh, type of business whether it's that's um, a catastrophe uh, you are going to be the only one who is liable to face these problems alone so the disadvantage considered to be in adatan the business no adam the business be yantahi bi nihayat hayat aw bi wafat malik hazal business 
غير ان هو لازم يكون عنده المهارات والقدرات التي تسمح له ان هو يدير البزنس ده او يكون جايب من من موظفين عندهم المهارات الكافيه او اللي تؤهلهم انهم يحققوا الهدف بتاعه اي مشكلة هتواجه البزنس اي ديون اي نوع من انواع الكوارث انت هتبقى مسؤول مسؤولية تامة اللي هي بنسميها الانليميتد لايبيليتي تجاه مواجهة المشكلة دي Let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages that a partnership or a form of a partnership have over a sole proprietorship as a type of business First the advantages it's really inexpensive to set up and subject to few government regulation which is similar like uh, the sole proprietorship I, th uh, I think that it's not considered as a real advantage over a sole proprietorship because the sole proprietorship is easy and inexpensive to form also partners pay personal income taxes on their share of profit uh, it brings a diverse group of people together to share managerial responsibilities this is the first one we have uh, stand upon it. It brings a diverse group of people together to share managerial responsibilities because when there is more than one person who is empowered to take decisions and uh, authority to take control or decisions over the business, of course, having more than one opinion, uh, you have more than one person with different skills, different experiences, of course, this will benefit uh, the business because uh, only one person of course will not have the same experience and the same skills as more than one person partners can agree legally to allow the partnership to survive if one or more partners die which means that this type of business can continue if one par if one of the partners uh, die but in the sole proprietorship as i told you in the previous slide that most probably or in most cases by the death of the owner the sole proprietorship is terminated it makes financing easier because we have more than one source of financing because we have more than one person who is uh, considered as an owner for this business but what are the disadvantage the disadvantage is sharing decisions sharing decisions can make um, disagreements or can make a delay in taking uh, actions because when we are more than one person of course we will have arguments we will have different opinions so we cannot reach to the decision quickly as we are only one person profit of course must be shared because we are more than one partner each partner is personally liable not only for his or he uh, or her own actions but for all the group which we call it unlimited liability يبقى تاني بنقول ان البارتنرشيب ايه المميزات اللي فيها عن السول بروبرتيشيب اول حاجة ان احنا اكتر من واحد لنا خلفيات مختلفة لنا مهارات مختلفة لنا خبرات مختلفة فبالتالي لما بنجمع الخبرات والمهارات دي اكيد هيكون افضل من شخص من مهارات شخص واحد آه كمان البارتنر لو واحد منهم توفى ممكن الباقيين بيكملوا غير ان احنا بيبقى عندنا اكتر من مصدر للتمويل لان احنا مش واحد احنا اتنين او اكتر فبنقدر نجمع مصادر التمويل اكتر وبالتالي ممكن نعمل بيزنس بحجم اكبر كمان طب ايه العيوب العيوب ان احنا بما اننا اكتر من واحد فهنبقى بناخد قرارات مش دايما هتبقى قراراتنا واحده ومش دايما هيبقى لينا نفس الاراء فبالتالي ممكن ده يؤدي لتعطيل اتخاذ القرارات او تنفيذها لان احنا هنبقى بنتناقش او بنختلف على بوينتس معينه وطبعا هنشارك في البروفيت واخر حاجه ان كل واحد من البارتنرز بيبقى عنده unlimited liability يعني مسؤول على اي ديتس اي كاتستروف هتواجه البارتنر شيب وفيما يخصه او يخص غيره يعني انا هبقى مسؤول اواجه الديون اللي هت اللي هتقابلني بتاعتي وبتاعه البارتنرز اللي معايا الكوربريشن وات از الكوربريشن الكوربريشن از ذا ثيرد مين فورم اوف تايبس اوف بزنس we talked about the sole proprietorship and partnership and now we are going to talk about the corporation a corporation is a legal entity that separates from the partner the parties who own it in other words the corporation is formed or the capital of a corporation is formed by subscribing shares in the stock markets and shareholders are going to buy these shares and each shareholders is considered as a owner 
according to uh, the number or to the value of his shares. Those shareholders buy these uh, stocks in order when the company achieved profit, the profit will be distributed among the shareholders, which we call it a dividends of profit. اللي هي توزيعات الأرباح. يعني الكوربريشن دي بد لما الشركة بتحب تكون الكابيتال بتاعها بتصدر أسهم في السوق حملة الأسهم بيشتروا كل واحد بيعتبر مالك أكوردينج للحصة بتاعته أو لقيمة الأسهم دي. يبقى معنى كده this means that there is a separation between the management and the ownership here the owners are not the managers of the company it's considered as a legal entity that separates from the parties who own it يعني هي شركة منفصلة عن الملاك بتوعها اللي بيدرها غير اللي بيملكها which means that the managers must work for the interest of the owners in the cases that the managers take decisions which will not benefit or which will not will be against the interest of the owners, this is what we call it uh, the agency problem or the agency theory. What are the advantages you think that a corporation can provide for its shareholders over the sole proprietorship and partnership type? An important advantage of a corporation is what we call limited liability. What's the meaning of a limited liability? It means that owners are not responsible for the obligations of the corporation and can lose no more than the amount that they have personally invested in the company. يعني ال owner is not going مش هيخسر أكتر من الجزء اللي هو عمله investment في الشيرز هو أصلا بيشتري الشيرز عشان لما الشركة تحقق ربح ياخد حسيته من الأرباح دي حصل أي مشكلة أقصى حاجة هيخسرها إنه مش هياخد الأرباح على الشيرز دي أو إن قيمة الشيرز هتقل غير لما يكون هو المسؤول like the sole proprietorship or partnership he is completely responsible for facing any problem or obligation facing the company also um, in a corporation you will have an access for many sources of financing and it's considered as an opportunity for forming large conglomerates of business in intertakawin muassasat kibira because you can access a large sum or a large volume of capital which will make, give you opportunity as a corporation to penetrate global markets and to achieve higher profit uh, also, because the corporation is considered as an entity which separates between the ownership and um, the management of the company, this means that it can exist beyond the lives of the owners or it can be extended after the death of the owners. Corporations are generally able also to attract skilled and talented employees because it's considered an opportunity for uh, providing higher salaries, achieving higher profits because it, of its uh, large, um, large size, large capital, uh, able to penetrate global uh, and international markets. What are the disadvantages over sole proprietorship and a partnership? As I told you in the previous slide, that the separation between the ownership and the management of the company will lead to certain problem if the managers will not work for the interest or will not take the decisions that will maximize the wealth of the shareholders of the company because this will make the shareholders lo lose or what we call it the agency cost or the agency problem. This is the first part which is the goals of corporate managers who don't necessarily own stock and shareholders who do not necessarily work for the company can differ which means a difference between difference in taking decisions or in interest between the managers and the owners يعني الاختلاف او الفصل ما بين الملكيه وما بين الاداره لو المدير ما خدش القرارات اللي هي لمصلحه الشيرهولدرز اللي هي لازم في الاخر تكون بتصب في اتجاه تعظيم ثروه حمله الاسهم دول هتحصل مشكله وده هيتسبب لهم في خسائر اللي احنا بنسميه مشكله الوكاله او التكاليف بتاعه نظريه الوكاله plus it's costly to set up or to form uh, and uh, to face the regulations uh, of the government which is put over this type of business. يعني ال ال 
الخطوات او القواعد اللي بتحطها الحكومه على هذا النوع من الـ من الكوربريشن از كونسيدرد از كومبليكيتد كومبيرد باي ذا ريجوليشنز ويتش از بوت اوفر اذر تايبس اوف بزنس هير وي ار جوينج تو توك اباوت ميرج اند اكوزيشن What's the meaning of merge and acquisition and what's the difference between both of them? A merge occurs when two companies combine to form a new company, which means company A, for example, merge with company B in order to form a new company, which is company C. Here in Egypt, um, I think we're, we're ESSO company and mobile, petroleum company, and they merge together to form ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil. Uh, acquisition is the purchase of one company by another with no new company being formed which means that one will purchase two and two will dissolve in one so two will disappear and it will be only company one for example there were a bank called Al Mohandis Bank here in Egypt the Ahli Bank purchased Al Mohandis Bank we do not hear about a Mohandis Bank again and it's become it dissolves in the Ahli Bank and uh, the branch of uh, the branches of the Mohandis Bank become all it belongs to the Ahli Bank. يبقى المرج والأكوزيشن الاندماج والاستحواز الاندماج يعني شركتين يندمجوا مع بعض يكونوا شركة جديدة ألف وبه يندمجوا فيعملوا جيم شركة جيم آه الاكوزيشن يعني واحده بتستحوذ على الثانيه واحده بتشتري الثانيه فالثانيه دي بتدوب او بتصبح جزء من الاولانيه زي بالظبط كده ما كان في بنك اسمه بنك المهندس اشترى البنك الاهلي ما نسمعش عن بنك المهندس خلاص بقى جزء من البنك الاهلي وكل فروعه بقت عليها آه البنك الاهلي وتبع للبنك الاهلي What are the motives behind merge and acquisition ايه هي الدوافع اللي بتدفع الناس انها تعمل ميرج شركات او اكوزيشن the first one is gaining complementary products for example acquiring complementary product was the motivation behind adidas acquisition of ribok adidas اشترت عملت اكوزيشن لريبوك عشان تكمل نفسها تحصل من عندها على complementary products products تكملها for example لو انا بشتغل في في سبورتس وير ممكن اشتري شركه تانية بتعمل سبورتس برودكتس لايك الراكيت البولز سمثينج لايك ذات جينينج نيو ماركتس اتين نيو ماركتس اور ديستريبيوشن شانلز از ذا سكند موتيف بيهايند ميرج اند اكوزيشن فور اكزامبل جينينج نيو ماركتس واز ا سيجنيفيكانت فاكتور ان ذا ميرج اوف يو اس ايرويز اند امريكان ويست يو اس ايرويز از ا ميجر بلاير اون ذا ايست كوست ذا كاريبيان اند يوروب While American West is strong in the West, which means each one of the two companies is covering a certain area. When they merge together, they are able to uh, control or to cover a larger area, which is the area belong to both companies. يعني لا دي كانت بتغطي منطقة معينة ودي بتغطي منطقة معينة لما يندمجوا مع بعض هيقدروا يبقوا بيعملوا coverage للمنطقتين. Realize more efficient economies of scale. The purchase of Pharmaceutical Corporation, a Swedish pharmaceutical company by Pfizer, a research-based pharmaceutical company based in the United States in 2003, created the world's largest drug maker and leading pharmaceutical company by revenue in every major market around the globe. يعني أنا دلوقتي لما بعمل merge أو acquisition ده بيخليني أقدر ان انا بعمل بصرف نفس التكاليف بس اقدر استفاد اكتر ليه لان انا اكيد لما اعمل البرودكت بتاع شركه واحده غير لما اعمل برودكت بتاع شركتين انا ممكن استخدم نفس التكلفه واقدر ان انا استفيد اكتر بان انا زي نفس فكره ان انا بعمل حاجه بالجمله انا بعمل لعدد اكتر فاكيد كده ممكن اعمل مينيمايز للتكلفه او خليني اقول بنفس التكلفه اقدر اعمل ماكسيمايز Obtaining ownership of an existing business. I have three ways, either assuming ownership of a family business or purchasing an already existing business or a franchise. We are going to talk about the franchise. يعني يا إما أن أنا يبقى عندي family business 
خلاص many people work in a family business and after a period of time assume the ownership of it this can be an ideal way to own a business because its performance is predictable it's already a performing business so I can predict its performance يعني دي حاجة أصلا already شغالة وأنا اشتغلت فيها أقدر أمتلكها لأني أقدر أتوقع هي هيبقى أدائها عامل إزاي purchasing an existing business إن أنا أشتري business already موجود Business are sold for various reasons. People considering the purchase of an existing business must determine whether they have the expertise to run the business or at least probably monitor the managers. El franchise, we are going to explain it in the next slide. What is a franchise? A franchise is an arrangement in which a business owner, he is called a franchisor, allows others to use its trademark trade name or copyright under specified conditions يعني الفرانشايز اللي هي ان صاحب البيزنس يسمح لاخرين يستغلوا التريد مارك بتاعه التريد نيم بتاعه الاسم التجاري بتاعه ياخد تصريح منه ان ينتج منتجاته بشروط معينه يعني فور اكزامبل ماكدونالدز هير ان ايجيبت از ان از ا فرانشايز از ا فرانشايز What are the main types of franchises? Distributors, chain style business, manufacturing arrangement. Distributors means a dealer is allowed to sell a product produced by a manufacturer. يعني he is going to take the already manufactured product and sell it. The distributor اللي هو الموزع هيبقى عنده الصلاحية إن ياخد المنتج اللي مصنع already عند صاحب الشركة الأصلي ويبيع. The chain style business. A firm is allowed to use the trademark of a company and follows the guidelines to pricing and sale the product. إن هو يقدر يبقى عنده الصلاحية إنه ياخد يستخدم اسم الشركة وينتج هو البرودكت ده أو يقدمه بناء على guideline بيتحطه له الشركة الأساسية الفرانشايزر. Manufacturing arrangement. The firm is allowed to manufacture the product using the formula provided by another company. هو يقدر يصنع البرودكت بس بالفورميلا أو بالمكونات اللي في الفرانشايزر أيلو عليها. What are the expected advantages and disadvantages of a franchise? The expected advantages: proven management style, which means that the franchise is less. risky than a new type of a business of course it's already a company which have tried this type of management style which achieved success which means that applying the same management style will guarantee for me some sort of success يعني انا دلوقتي دي شركه محققه نجاح بالطريقه دي فانا لو مشيت على نفس او خدت الفرانشايز دي انا بضمن جزء كبير من النجاح Plus the name recognition, the name recognition, which means many franchises are nationally known because of advertising by the franchisor. It's in order to achieve a successful name or a recognized name in the market, this will take from you as a new company uh, much time and much money. The franchise will provide for you a already known name, already known name. Plus, you are going to get benefit from the advertising made by the franchise. So, يعني أنت كشركة عشان تعمل اسم معروف في السوق ده بياخد منك وقت وبياخد منك فلوس. أنت already هتستفيد بالاسم المعروف بتاع الفرانشايز. Plus, هتستفيد من الدعاية اللي بيعملها الفرانشايزر اللي هو ال ال اللي بيمنحك الفرانشايز. A financial support. Of course, the franchisor in most cases provide financial support, especially at the beginning for the franchisees to start up uh, the business or to have sufficient start up funds. يعني بيديك دفع مالية في الأول كشركة واخدة منه الفرانشايز. الفرانشايزر بيساعدك في الأول إن أنت تبتدي. يديك financial push. This, what are the disadvantage of a franchise? إيه هي العيوب? There are two main disadvantages: sharing profits with less control. Sharing profits, of course, you are going to get all the previous mentioned benefits in return for a certain fees or a certain part of sharing profit with the franchisor. يعني أكيد أنت هتستفيد بكل المزايا اللي قلناها دي مقابل نسبة من الأرباح أو أي أي مقابل هت 
هتقدمه للفرانشايزر عشان تقدر تستفيد بكل المزايا دي in return for services provided by the franchisers they share, uh, they share profits less control also the franchisor in order to provide or to allow you to use um, the franchise name you, uh, this will provide for you some regulations some burdens the franchisee must follow all you must follow all the guidelines regarding production and pricing and possibly other guidelines as well يعني هتبقى مقيد لازم هتتبع كل التعليمات وكل الرولز اللي بيقول لك عليها علشان تمشي اكورد للاتفاق اللي بينكو الديل اللي بينكو علشان تقدر تستفيد من الفرانشايز او من استخدام النيم بتاع الفرانشايز